Guys, if you were to ever watch the interviews of some of the great traders and, you know, every time, every one of them, if they're great, they will tell you that the game, the secret is about management of loss. Every single one. I mean, this. there's very few things that are 100% in life, but every professional trader will tell you that 100% of them. That it's, the focus is always on the risk side, the loss side. And if you speak to any novice that has no idea what they're doing, their focus is on the winning side. So just think of it, where do you want to be? <laughs> Which one do you want to be? The one that focuses on winning, the winning side? No, you want to be the one that focuses on the losing side. If you can get on a play that you can identify, if you can get a reasonable loss and accept it, now freaking go. What's the worst that can happen? What you accepted already? Now there's no fear. There shouldn't be any fear. This is what, this takes ego out of the trading as well. Because ego is that voice in your head that just won't shut up. It keeps you in a constant state of fear because the nature of ego is fear itself. It lives constantly with the fear that you're going to one day discover that the ego is not you. That the voice in your head is not you. And so you will stay victim to egoism. As long as you have lost your identity, if you look up the definition of the word ego, you will see that the definition will say that it is a false representation of the self. So when you begin to believe that the voice that you are hearing in your head is you, it's actually you, you're lost. That the ego has claimed you as its own identity. And you have given up your power to thinking. And thinking will constantly keep you in a state of doubt and fear. Now the ego gets to the place where it becomes a living entity that wants to survive like any other living mechanism in life. And it knows that it needs to keep you in the dark of who you are. You are not the voice. You are not the thinking. You are not the thought. And it's constantly trying to keep your attention away from that reality. Because the moment you realize, hey, wait a minute, I am not my thinking. I'm not my thoughts. When you start to question your thoughts, you're really not questioning yourself. You're questioning the ego. And the moment you start questioning the ego, it instantly begins to lose its grip, lose its power. And you rediscover yourself. And this, I was explaining this earlier, this is what a trading plan's purpose is. The trading plan's purpose is to replace your thinking which in another way of saying it is to replace your ego. The ego battles and goes to war against a trading plan. You think it's you going against the trading plan because you have lost yourself. You are confusing yourself with thinking, which is the ego. And so you think that, why can't I follow the plan? No, in a sense, that's not you. It is the ego that does not want itself to be replaced by the plan. And it's going to fight to stay alive because the plan kills the ego. The plan gets rid of the necessity to think. So let's go over this trade. Oracle, right here. I'm going to demonstrate this lack of thinking. We've got the 20 period moving average here.
Let me do it like this. We've got the 20 period moving average here. We've got the 200 period moving average there. We've got the low here, the high there. Would you say this is a narrow, relatively narrow state? Yes, good. Okay. First bar forms. What's my number one go-to play? Anybody know that? Surge off the 200. Do we have a surge off the 200? Yes? Okay. Any thinking required yet? No. Only observation. Observation is not thinking. Do you know what observation, a, syn a synonym for observation is? Intelligence. They're synonymous. When you are observing, you are emitting intellig intelligence. The moment you stop yourself from observing, you have ended intelligence. And this is where when people get so locked into a view that they can no longer observe another view, they have stopped intelligence. This is very prevalent in the world today, especially in political circles. Everyone, almost everyone, has stopped intelligence. Everyone is dug in so deeply to a view that they have cut off the process of being able to observe a different one. So we're observing. There's no thinking. That's very different. Thinking can be confused with observ observation, but it is different. Thinking is doubting. Thinking is an element of fear. Observation has no fear. It is open. It is free. I observe a narrow state. I observe my first bar forming power right off the 200. Right toward the end, I know, somewhere toward the end of the bar, it's okay to buy into the bar. Boom, anticipation entry. I know, I don't have to think where the stop is. I know the stop is under the FAB4 because it's tight and narrow. Maximum stop, maybe your maximum stop is $70, whatever, whatever it is. I know that my rules say, my master plan says, what's next, guys? What's next? It's not a choice. It's on my piece of paper. What's next? That's right. To add, it's a mandatory add on the first RBI, right? That's not even a thought. There's no analysis that needs to take place because analysis is a tricky way of thinking. If you are analyzing, you're thinking, which means that you don't know. But we know it's staring me in the face on my piece of paper by the first RBI. Okay, by the first RBI. I haven't thought yet. I've, I've observed, but I haven't thought. What do you have the right to do here? You can profit take. You don't have to, but you can. But let's say you do. I haven't thought yet. I've only observed. Now, choice comes here. Now, let's talk about that. It is, this is the first point where I actually have a choice in the trade. I didn't have a choice to buy this. This is on my list of things to buy without hesitation, surges, not narrow fat four, surge off the 200, no thinking, no anything, no nothing. 
So this is already written down. That's not a choice. Mandatory add on the first RBI, that's not a choice. Now that I'm rich and fat with profits, you have the choice of how much to take a profit or no. And if you decide to take a profit, how much of the profit? So you have earned your first right to choose. And appropriately so. You know, I'm always telling you that rich people in this life have choices. They have choices that non-rich people don't have. Non-rich people don't have choices. They only have obligations. But you have earned the freedom to choose. He who has the ability to choose is not a slave. He who has the ability to choose is free. A slave has no ability to choose, not when they wake up, not when they go to sleep, not how long they have to work, not on what they have to work. Right? So it is at this point that you have earned freedom, the freedom of choice. All right. Now, you also have earned the choice to tighten your stop. To break even. That's the next step. Let's say you do that. Right? Don't get it twisted. You don't have a choice to move your stop here or to something else. No, not if you're following this strictly. You only have earned the right to move it to break even. You don't have to, but you've earned this right. So boom, that's the next step. Okay? Now, this is a choice as well to buy the next RBI clearing bar event. That is a choice. That's not an obligation. Now, here's the way I read this. I read this salt and pepper kind of area here as a substitute once I get here like that. I, re I look back, when, when I see this, I'm saying, wow, this stock is power trending. Oh my God. Now I look back and I realize now that that was the substitute for the stock's what? What is that the substitute? That little area right there, what's that the substitute for? That's right, Patrick, the pullback. But you can't know that until like here. There are certain things you can't know until after the fact. Do you understand? Okay? So I realize when I get here, whoa, this thing is power trending. And then I realize like, whoa, wait a minute, I've had this and that. I've actually got whale complete. You see, so whales come in three forms, the pullback version, the sideways version, and the pause version, right? This is a variation of two of them. Kind of choppiness sideways-ish, but pause-ish as well, all right? So anyway, I realized this, wow, I'm whale complete now, but I've also got power trend. And I also know, based on what's on my piece of paper, that you never sell a power trend. So now I'm saying, now, now I'm saying, I've got the right to take a profit because I've realized that I have whale complete, but what has canceled my right is never take a profit in a power trend. So now that I have identified the power trend, I have to put my eight period moving average trailing stop. You have to have to get on the eight train and go where? Wait, where are you going? Somebody tell me. Where are we going on the eight train? Somebody tell me. Let me get you back up there and see. <laughs> That's right. And 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 who who lives there? Who lives there? And that's right. And what are you supposed to bring me? A little 
what? Let, let, let me wet my beak a little. I just wanted a little taste of your profitability. Bring it to me. Take the eight train. I'll be waiting. 